Ensuring the right to health for all requires a fundamental transformation in our health systems. The World Health Organization recommends self-care interventions for every country and economic setting as a critical path to primary health care and as a way to reach universal health coverage. Devices, digital health, drugs and diagnostics continue to evolve so rapidly that people have new ways of accessing their health care. I look at self-care as a revolutionary approach, especially that it brings the sense of taking services closer to the community. There is now a shift in the way we are beginning to manage health. Self-care does not replace the healthcare system. It is the ability of individuals, families and communities to promote and maintain health, prevent disease and cope with illness with or without the support of a healthcare provider. Self-care shifts the focus away from a responsive approach towards a more integrated approach which strengthens links between primary health care and communities and considers the holistic needs of a person. Self-care supports key principles of human rights and gender equality. If you in 2019, the WHO published guidelines on self-care interventions for health, with a focus for this volume on sexual and reproductive health and rights. Là, le self-care est arrivé. Pour nous, franchement, les travailleurs dans le terrain, c'est une bouffée d'oxygène. C'est-à-dire qu'on va répondre aux besoins spécifiques de cette population. The guidelines address different areas that empower individuals to prevent, test for, and treat disease themselves in a safe and supportive environment. This includes supportive laws and policies, health financing, regulated quality products and interventions, and education. And as much as communicating to the community is concerned, we use the language they can understand. And then we try and have a face they can relate with, you know, as opposed to the white jacket and scrubs. When there are effective, integrated health systems and supportive legal frameworks, self-care can offer new possibilities. Muchos ginecólogos, psicólogas, parteras, enfermeras se juntaron a tener una relación médico-paciente más horizontal y no salir un poco del modelo hegemónico y darle herramientas a la mujer para que ella pudiera tomar sus propias decisiones. The self-care work is the first line of defense on all health-related issues. When individuals are given the opportunity to become active agents in their health, not merely passive recipients of health services, their health outcomes improve. Self-care can pave the way towards universal health coverage and a world where everyone is able to realize their right to health.